Hey, I'm Alana. And I'm Ryan. Duck brand duct tape gave us six destinations and a VW bus named Rudy. Here's our journey. From the people we met to the adventures in between. And the only thing they had in common was a roll of duct tape. Today we send tape into space. We came to Cincinnati to meet Joe, a professor at the University of Cincinnati. My name is Joe Girondola. I'm professor of this sculpture course called 3D Special Studio Duct Tape. The, the class takes place in this like warehouse setting, and when we found it, we pulled up and they had made a duct tape yeah. flag for Ooh, us. Look how cool this flag is! It's a cool flag. Oh my gosh! I know, so that's, that's our flag. That's us! That's us. It's that's Rudy! What was really great was that the University of Cincinnati supported this amazing studio space. Not all of us are new to building with duct tape and building at this massive scale. And so all of us are just constantly just like trying to get each other's input, trying to help each other out. And it's, it's, it's more of a community than a class. It's really, really awesome. Each of the students were working on individual projects to display at the Duct Tape Festival. So the sculptures being made were all Americana themed, which meant they were building um, hamburgers and someone called Uncle Sam. <laughs> My name is Harmony Denlinger and I'm making a cheeseburger out of duct tape. <laughs> so I'm gonna take bubble wrap and wrap it around and like use cardboard and stuff to shape all the stuff. And like with the lettuce, I'll probably just use the transparent duct tape. What are you doing? What is going on? What is this? So I am building a giant sculpture from uh, George Washington as he's crossing the Delaware Who's River. Who is George Washington? <laughs> uh, well, we'll throw it in our Uncle Sam. Okay, Uncle Sam. Joe was their leader. They all really looked up to him. And he was really cool. I can see why. I've emboldened my students to try to come up with new and grander ideas to make giant sculptures covered with duct tape. My students have come up with these ideas based on a theme that the Avon Heritage Duct Tape Festival has uh, come up with every year, and they've created the most amazing sculptures. His passion was infectious, and you could see that not only in him, um, but in his students as well. I just wanted to do something that was accessible to people. Um, I think part of art is uh, being accessible to all. Playing with duct tape as a kid or I mean, 90 year old people fixing something. I think it's just something that everybody can get their hands on so making something out of that is just great. The hard part is trying to take it from your head and put it on the paper so that others can see it and help you give advice but also it's a good visual to have in case you forget it. Just sketch it out and then really go into detail about the building process, like how long do I have to make these cuts, where I put these pieces of wood at, and then once you have that, build your skeleton. And of course, you're gonna run into some bumps here and there, you know, and it's part of the adventure, it's awesome. I'm a painter, I love colors. Like, um, everybody has duct tape. Uh, we typically fix things with it, you know, but here, we changed it into an art form, into a medium, and I think it's very interesting to be able to use different colors and designs and um, different materials in order to create sculptures out of what's normally thought of as a, a flat surface or something used just to fix things, but this time you're using it to, to create, which I find very interesting. For me, this course is an opportunity to look at sculpture in a different way. To look at sculpture using a material that already has a history, embedded with that history, is how can we transform our ideas to collaborate with this material, transform the material, and connect to with their idea that they're making. So part of Joe's duct tape sculpture class is obviously sending stuff into space. That makes sense. Uh, so we did that. We're on top of Joe's studio. We're gonna send a box full of everyone's unique little items up into outer space. Pretty cool, none of my classes did that in college. And we're gonna put in this. This is uh, my flag, <laughs> Your little not British my flag, flag. <laughs> personally, but the British flag. Here's some American flag and a little bit of Hawaii for me. And, and whoa, space! It's the universe! Whoa! And we put that in the box and sent ourselves up to outer space. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to fill the balloon up, and then the parachute is actually going to go through these. Okay. It's gonna go through these, hook onto here, and hook onto there. So when the balloon gets at 100,000 feet in the air, it's thinner. The balloon explodes, and then gravity pulls the parachute open, and then it comes down. The, the actual balloon comes with it. Um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start filling up the balloon. I think the 
this whole thing has been really interesting. It's my first time in America and I always thought I would do a road trip, but I never thought it would be with duct tape. I got to meet a lot of interesting people, got to see a lot of cool places and I never would have if it wasn't for duct tape. We got to experience a lot of things I never thought I would have experienced. We traveled all over the country. We went to the top of a mountain, had a dance party with puppets, sent ourselves into outer space. But most of all, we met artists, creatives, daredevils that challenged what society told them not to be. This trip to help us open our minds to the possibilities that one roll of duct tape can accomplish. The sense of freedom, creative ingenuity, belonging, imagination, community, and adventure. Where are we gonna go next? <laughs>